Kevin and Trevor, now, Kevin, you were overseas in Slovakia. Yeah. Uh, first of all, you guys were drafted same year. What do you remember about playing each other, Madison Hat and Brandon in the Western Hockey League? Well, I tried to stay away from this guy because he uh, he'd put the hurt on you. So, but uh, I was in Medicine Hat, he was in Brandon, and and uh, obviously you're just talking about the Keystone Center back there. So, lots of good memories. Yeah, lots of good memories of the draft, and uh, a lot of good players uh, came out of that, and it uh, was an exciting time. And it's just amazing uh, how many players are you know made a, a big mark in the game uh, from that draft year. Yeah, Mike Bedano, number one overall pick. Now, you were overseas in Slovakia. I wanted to ask you, Trevor, you were here hiring Travis Green. You've had a chance to watch a bit of the playoffs. From what you've seen, what does that say to what you guys have to do in Vancouver to get to I this I think level? it reinforces just the speed skill component. I mean, you watch uh, the Washington-Pittsburgh game, certainly the Toronto-Washington game six. Uh, I think the unpredictability of playoffs, you know, you see Chicago go out in four and, you know, these uh, wildcard teams uh, having success. So it's anybody's game. It's been a lot of fun. You, so you were overseas. What did you see from the under-18s? Well, it's a great tournament to, uh, to get a chance to see a lot of draft-eligible players uh, playing against each other and amongst their peers. So it was, um, you know, it was good. To, obviously, the, the U.S. had a very strong uh, team, ended up winning it. But, um, you know, great to see the, uh, the European countries, uh, you know, Finland, Sweden, uh, you know, have good shows along, along with Canada. Again, it was a, a good tournament all around from a, from a scouting perspective. I know I'm going to get told none of my business, but is anybody who really impressed you over there? Well, you know, again, for me, uh, a lot of it's first time getting a chance to see some of the players, especially the Europeans. So, um, you know, you, you listen to the scouts talk, you hear, you read their reports, and then you get a chance to see it for yourself. So it's, um, from, from my standpoint, it maybe gives me enough knowledge just to be a little bit dangerous, but, uh, you know, I think <laughs> it's good to... Uh, to be able to, to, to ask those questions when we get into the meat of the uh, the final meetings. Okay, I wanted to ask you both about Nolan Patrick, who's one of the top prospects, could be the number one overall pick. You have the second highest odds in the lottery. You're, he's in your backyard. He's been hurt a lot this year. How much does it affect your decision on whether or not to pick a player like that when he's battled injury his draft year? Well, I've certainly seen you know seen him play a couple times, and he's, uh, he's an exciting player. He's got a good, you know, he's de definitely a well-rounded game. There's definitely injury concern. There's no question. I think uh, any team that's going to be in that spot is going to want to dig in and see what the situations are and why, and 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 dig a little deeper. So, if we're in that, if we have that opportunity, we'll definitely do that. Well, I've had the chance uh, again with him being in my backyard. I had a chance to watch him play quite a bit in his uh, years prior to the draft, and uh, I remember vividly seeing some of the early early games and I was just uh, you know mesmerized with the fact that he wasn't going to be draft eligible until this year so um, you know there's a long history I think of uh, of watching him play mm -hmm. he's played very well on some very good weak king teams and and uh, again there will be a lot of due diligence uh, uh, you know like anything I know with us last year uh, even with line a when at the world championships hurt his knee you know we we went that little extra step to make sure that uh, you know you knew exactly what was going on in there all right just quick Bo Horvat any talk on extension yet we haven't had any talks with uh, with Newport Sports Group. Having said that, I'm in contact with Donnie regularly, and I would imagine we'll hook up in May sometime for the first meeting. You have a chance to extend uh, Little or an Ehlers. Have you talked about that at all? You know, I haven't had a chance yet to uh, to really get with each of the the group, but uh, you know, safe to say we'd uh, we'd like both of those players as uh, as long-term Jets. All right. Thanks very much, gentlemen. Good luck Thanks. tonight. Thank you, Ron.